Welcome back to the SFD, the Sunday Funday Podcast, the best hangover you ever heard. My name is Gil Patterson. I'm here with my friends once again, Mark the Instigator and Juice. And today we're going to talk about something that's really close to my heart, and I think it's going to be close to a lot of other people's hearts. It's why are cops dicks? Now, let's just be very clear. I don't hate all cops. I've never hated all cops. You know, I, I remember being a kid and having my own incidents with the cops and being young and having incidents with the cops. But my next door neighbor was a cop. Like, he was a cool dude. He had this German shepherd. I mean, he, he said the dog wasn't racist, and it wasn't. And it was really interesting growing up next to a cop and not thinking of him as a cop. I just thought of him as Bill. That was Bill. And but yet, right now, I'm noticing this thing where police officers are getting into altercations over just the dumbest things. But then I thought back to my childhood and goes, nobody really liked cops growing up. Every small town I've ever been to, you hear about every, every kid going, that cop's an asshole. This guy, Charles, is always trying to you know, hem you up. Like, you remember the cops have not always been people's friends. I mean, I don't remember them ever being people's friends. And now we're in a society where like, people are like, yeah, cops are great. I'm like, are they? I just, whoa, I just whoa, don't wait, 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 well, back, back up. We're in a society where people are saying cops are great. When? Yeah. Like, well, that's society? what I'm saying. When, when, when? Like from, from what year? I mean, there was a bunch of people like back the blues. A bunch of people stuff. when? Like, in, what are you talking in about, 2020, dude? in 2021, no, no, no. in 2022. Come on, bro. Come on. Oh, come on. There are so many That's people bullshit. out there that are so much like back the blue. And I'm like, yeah, I, I'm the first one to say we should call police officers. You weren't even saying also, back the blue oh, until it became a racial fucking thing. So that wasn't even a thing. I, I, I didn't say it. I'm just saying. No, I mean, like, not you, but like, just, oh, you I'm mean just, people. The people, like, come on. Like, that was all politicized. So, like, uh, here's the deal, dude. Like, okay. I don't disagree with you, but like, let's just back it up a second. So there was a time in Portland where Charles Moose, who was the chief of police in D.C. that got the sniper. Mm. Okay. That guy was also the chief of police of uh, Portland in the early 90s. And he was also a professor at the at Portland State University. Don't and I dipping. He's actually trying to trying to like. Spread the knowledge, bro. It was good. Trying to make that extra guap. I love this, dude. It's so interesting because, like, I was like, oh my God, it's Moose. He's like, so about like neighborhood policing. So, back then in the early 90s in Portland, when we had less problems than we had now, like, what the deal was was like they wanted cops in North Portland that, that lived in North Portland that were like, you know, patrolling North Portland. And North, that's it. That's all this. And this is one of the things that Moose was all about. So Moose comes in, he's teaching a course at uh, Portland State University, and he's a genius because there's, they're also recruiting for the Portland Police Corps, okay. which you could join if you were in college, and they would pay off your college debt or what would be your college debt, and you would go into the police corps for two years mm -hmm. and serve, and then if you decided after the police corps after they paid for your college to like, you wanted to continue in law enforcement, boom, right? You're like, you're in. But you go, they pay for your college first and you just serve two years with the police force. Uh, so you go to you, No, 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 no. You finish college. Right. Like, and then, you and then they, and then, and then like, yeah, then you do the two core two years. And like those two years are like Im immediately paid off. Like it's like, boom, bonus. It was genius. It was absolutely a genius plan. Okay. Part of the deal was that you had to go on a couple of ride-alongs. Okay. Did you take some ride-alongs? I did two ride -alongs. I had been on ride-alongs before because... Oh, so wait a second. You almost were a popo. That's what oh, I'm talking about. Oh. oh. Okay. I went deep. You're a fed. You're a fed. All right, Jesus, go ahead. Well, the pointing the out. fingers just Sitting came right out here. and the fed shit just popped out too. So what was crazy was I, I got shoulder tapped by Moose. He said, "Dude, you should go into this program. Uh, I'm obviously you're going to be referred. Blah blah blah." And I was like, "Dude, he uh, moose knuckled you, bro. You know what, dude? <laughs> you, got, you got the moose knuckle. I like that. I love that one. You got moose's knuckle. I liked. I liked the, the. Here's the only things that I thought were a detriment to him, and I'm just going to be straight up with you: is that it was dis, dat, and whiff. 
and that was a problem here in Portland. Whiff. Oh, when how he, he talk, spoke. When he spoke. How he spoke. When he spoke. Yeah, yeah. I, Just that see, whiff. See, Juice, that's oh, it. Oh, see, you remember, oh, Juice, oh, Juice yeah. you had a light skin issue. Oh, people don't realize, in, well, they're obviously seeing on camera, but if they're only hearing this in a podcast, they don't know, necessarily know the necessity breakdown yeah, of yeah. who we all are. Uh, so right? I'm black, Mark is whitey, white, 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 and Juice is... Uh, Technically, I'm a red bone. He, he uh, likes what the f***? Well, 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 when you say that, what does that mean, and where does that come from? Well, I'm not a yellow bone, so if I turn my, <laughs> if I turn my arms inside, I'll see the tint here. If I do that, it's a little bit of reddish color. Okay, so they, like, they like call, what, call me a red bone, but then there's also yellow bones. So what's that? Tell, tell me about that. Uh, th- they went out in the '90s. Don't worry about it. They got it. They you know, got dude, it. this is an opportunity to actually educate a lot of people. I don't want to. Guys are, okay, so first off, who needs yellow, to educate on like the, the 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 inner workings of each racial component? Like, look, America, we're, America, we're a flawed place. All right, so True. can we get over the fact that like we have like colorism? Yeah. I'm okay. Just, okay. That's a good right. way to speed it. That's basically up. what this was. It so was like colorism. Just trying to shit up. Yeah. I like that. Okay, I appreciate that. Okay, yeah, so it's we're colorism. I like that term. That's good. Yeah, it's colorism. It means like depending on how light or white. Like you know how your friend or your boyfriend might be like a redhead ginger or something like that, and then you've got this other guy who's like just perfectly tans bronze from living out in Florida, but you can see the like the white crack of his ass. Yes. Yeah, that's the difference because you guys make fun of those people too. You're like, ooh, you're pale. Ooh, you're tan. Like, wow. I just think you look like leather. I just wanted to make sure that he just said, you guys make fun of them too. Okay. That's a very because statement. Because every racial group, uh, before we get back to policing, every racial group makes fun of somebody within their own racial group. They stereotype. Yeah, they're like, oh, you're, you're a ginger. You don't have a soul. Or you're super dark. Whoa, you know, whoa, 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 whoa. Daywalker. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Well, Back up. I don't think, they don't, do they? The, don't you guys? Wait, I've ginger? only, okay, no. so here's the two things I know about gingers that are, like, like proven. Because uh, from knowing my wife, uh, they're badass from the health standpoint of, like, pain. It takes a ton of uh, anesthesia to knock them out That's and and souls. and and of all the caucasian professional athletes with the longest term careers and most payouts it's when you break it all the f- numbers down it's redheads in baseball football basketball it's all right, all right. Goddamn all right, redheads. So now we got it. All right, so that's the racial breakdown. So Wait, back to this policing but, 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 thing. But hold on a second, No, though. I want to get back to this policing thing. We, okay, sorry. We got to get back to this back policing to thing. Sure. So look, so police are... And so we'll that's, that's, it, that's what I'm trying to say is that you were talking about this guy who helped catch the D.C. sniper. By the way, the D.C. sniper, he didn't actually catch him. He was caught by some Frederick County police okay, officer dude, in I'm the just, state hall. Come on. No, I because mean, it, was, it, was in my, it was in my county. Yeah. Frederick County, and they, they just pulled over. He and was fell on asleep. watch. He was on watch. He was though. not. It's 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 not even in his jurisdiction. He's the D.C. chief of police. D.C. is only ten miles. So you're saying the whole book is a sham? Come on, now he's like, I was there. It was like he was. He was leading the whole task force. No, dude. he wasn't. Yes, he was. The feds were leading the task force, just like uh, the feds. You know what? There's no them. way he can write a book like that and you be right. All right, like, fine. No way. But and I'm not f- also trying to defend him. I'm no, also I'm just not trying the to defend feds him. Dude. Never tell the truth. The I'm feds not denying never, that. Feds, Juice, do the feds ever want their name on everything? No. But he wasn't a fed. fed. No, the feds don't want their name on things. Okay, but all I'm getting at is that... Hold on, did the dog just walk through the entire scene? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's cool. okay. It's That's a vibe. Once. We'll close it. Just put it back in the room and close the door. Yeah, sorry, dude. <laughs> like... Like oh, we could the, hit him. It has the family room, like all right. It cool. does. Yeah. Oh, he's cool. just—he's coming in yeah. for some love. Dude. Um, he just wants to. But yeah. So, okay. So hold on a second. So let me ask you this: You're making, you're saying this stuff, and I'm not saying you're wrong. Okay. But like, I actually spent a semester with the guy in a classroom, and I'm a pretty good judge of character. And I will say that, like, I felt authenticity. Okay. I'm, okay. I felt authenticity. Yeah. You're good. Yeah. Okay, it's early '90s. All right, so I decide. I decide. Okay, okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this, and it's a total like uh, departure from everything. Mm-hmm. I was thinking like law school, right? Not a cop, a <laughs> fed. Blogger. No, dude. Wow. Okay, that's weird. Every time I say cop, you say fed. Fed. And I don't 
think they're under the same guise as yeah, no, they're all the same in Baltimore. You're all feds. You're all, all right. Cops. Okay. 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 Everyone's okay. A I don't. Yeah. Ferrari. I'm not gonna discredit your feeling of that, but like that's not how I look at cop, like street like cops. I just don't because the first they don't, they don't have the assets that the feds have, so they can't do the shit the feds can do. But anyways, so I decide to do this program. So the first thing you gotta do is you gotta do these two goddamn ride-alongs. And the first ride along I do with like the Norwegian guy. He's like six one. He's beautiful, you know. Da, 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 da. His parents. He's she's from Australia originally. His parents are. This is what he's telling me, dude. First of all, so you always gotta be careful of that. Shit. But he's like his parents were academics and blah 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 blah. So we get a call to North. We're 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 in St. John's. And we're in St. Did he go through the same program that you you were going through? Like no no no. He was he was, was a cop thing? in another jurisdiction. Other he, he had transferred in. Like this guy was a veteran. Blah 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 blah. So older guy, older guy. Yeah. Okay. And and here's the gig they gave us. The gig they gave us was to be at the west end of the St. John's Bridge during a Dandy Warhol's music video. A who? Nice Dandy War- the, the Dandy Warhols. Who are the Dandy Warhols? They're pretty tight. Indie band. Yeah, so there you go, dude. Welcome to Portland. You're going to look them up. You'll look them up. Remember, this is an international podcast, so now we're going to Yeah, the like, Dandy Warhols are international, dude. They've traveled all over yeah, Europe. Yeah, they travel all over the world. I am like, so... You know what? This might just be it's, like... It's not that big of a name that you should know, but like... Okay. It's, like, it's kind of a thing, okay. dude. It is kind of a yeah. thing. Come on, bro. Like, clean <laughs> okay. it up. It is. Here, but like in terms of like, I don't know. I'm not blaming him because he's from Maryland. He just dropped into this nest. So, but like, but that's his only excuse. Okay. So, anyways, the dandies are a big thing. So this is a big video. They're 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 riding horses across the bridge. This is a big video, dude. So this is our guy. This is my this is my 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 gig with this dude. This is my gig. So we're sitting in his fucking car, and of course I'm like, so can we look at my record on your? On your on your car. I was on the little yes. cruiser computer. Right. I'm like, it was because we're gonna be here for hours. And he's like, yeah, yeah but I gotta log into the system, and then, and then that poses a deal. I'm like, okay, okay, whatever. So there's a hassle to look up your record. Okay. Here? Yeah. So, but we're having a, we're we're rapping, dude. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I've 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 I've, in, I've instigated myself into yeah. his world. Okay. So it's lunch. And I know I, I'm I have two radios. I have the cop radio, so I know what's going on to control the bridge but then I also have the production radio that's telling me like okay last shot we're breaking for lunch so I have more information than the cop does and that's opposite of how their world works so I'm like hey dude we're gonna break for lunch so you know what we can do you and I can break right now like half an hour early I know it's all there and like let's go just go do that and he's like okay so So you you, so you, so you encourage the cop to End his shift early. Uh, Leave depri- our spot. Depriving the taxpayers of their their no, recovery. There's no okay, taxpayers, dude. Akil, Akil, first of all, that's wrong and correct. Um, when you apply for a special permit, you pay a huge bounty for law enforcement to cover you. So we were like paying massive amounts of money back to the taxpayer to use that cop. Fed. And that's but the cop did. left early. Fed. He what left early. No, dude, he left because we were at a private. So we have a permit when you're when you're in film business. Mm-hmm. You have a permit that creates laws within where you're shooting. Okay, and you have you have you have bodyguards, which are are, are, are cops to 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 enforce it. So here's what I knew. I knew that we weren't going to be shooting anymore on the bridge. Okay. I knew that him and I could break early and go to lunch, and we did. Okay. So we eat. And then he drives us right back to the bridge. But, like, the rest of the crew isn't going to be back to that shop for, like, two hours. And he gets a f- call in North Portland, not far from where he's at. And asks me. He's like, hey, dude, like, this is a live call. Do you think they're going to come back? And, like, I'm like, dude, we could have, we could have the ITC. We could have uh, the road crew just be like stop traffic for us right now. Okay. And he's like, okay, boom. I'm on the radio. Boom. It happens. We go to the call. Here's what it is. We call, we pull into an Audi and, uh, uh, an alley in St. John's. It's a moving truck. The door is like open. Like it's a jar. It's thanks. Slightly oh, a jar. God, damn. It's open a little Fucking bit. I know. I, I did. Okay. In the SAT. JK Rawlings with the, 
with his high intellectual language. The door was ajar. So we had to, I stay we in had the to creep up on him. <laughs> no. We got just guess who, guess, side guess who can't leave the envelope with the vehicle? Oh, you can't. You got to stay inside. Yeah, guess you, can't leave yeah, you're the, the package. envelope you're with the, the package. vehicle. Also, I cannot access the what to my left. The the shotgun. Yeah. This, this is a rule. Because I haven't gone through any training. I haven't gone through any training. Yeah. So he gets out. And here's the thing, dude. He was saying shit. On the way, on the radio, to other people that were obviously cops, and it's like they were, and I didn't know the codes, and it was like he knew what he was going to. Here's who he was going to. He was going to a mobile dog fighting site. They fight him out of the back of moving trucks. Okay? So what, he, we, we, what we rolled up to was a, door, a jar, and then, of course, he goes up, and he goes flush, and he looks up, and he pulls it up, and there's a half alive. Pitbull chained Aww. to the f- and and when you go in there and you look you can smell the f- iron because there's multiple dog fights and it's mobile right so what happens is when they get when they get beefed out like when someone like says hey there's a dog fight they can move the dog fight mm. and this so this had, this wasn't there wasn't like one dog fight in here there was dog f- hair dude there was all kinds of shit it smelled f- bad if I ever smelled it again I would know it and he was like come out and take a look at this this is where it gets bad dude it, it was already bad no it wasn't dude well, when's, here's the, got, when's the cop no, here's here? what here's where it gets bad here's what oh see you're very perspective you're very perceptive he pulls the door open for more of a reveal I see the half a live dog we walk. We start walking back to the car. He's radioing control, like animal control, and he's like, "God damn!" And that's when it Whoa. got bad. Whoa! And that's I when it got. That. And that's, that's when it got bad. Yeah, okay. And that's when it got bad, dude. But well, so like he just like Persian, right? But like he just threw that in there because he knew because it wasn't it. Apparently, but, but was it? And I was about to say, dude. Uh, I'm I just trying to. This, hey, dude, like, you don't make. Up. No, I no. didn't know this existed. You don't make this else shit up. Other than Virginia Beach, Virginia. Hold on. No, Please. dude, I, this is a real thing. That what happened. are you going to say, Juice? So, what I was going to say? This shit like, up. Oh, obviously, this exists outside of Virginia Beach, Virginia, right? So, St. John's, bro. Yeah, but like, this dude was Persian. Mississippi. This dude was Persian, right? Mm-hmm. We're St. John's. So, why would he, what did he see? The assailants? Did he just see the dogs? Pit bulls and black people go together? Is that what it was? Pit bulls and white people go together too. No, they don't. Like, not in the white world, they don't. So this this not in the white Persian-ish world, guy saw pit bull and, and used a hard R. Dude. But but yeah, the hard the 90s, R. bro. A young white boy. Who's thinking about wanting to be part of like the crew. And Maybe he's also he, Australian, dude. Maybe, Let's just forget. Maybe. Let's not forget he's right, from this Australia. Guy's, this guy's, so, so, so said, he's he, not even so American. What's, so what's he trying to do? Well, we, we're what's, closer to apartheid, though. Don't forget. But no, no, no. Like, so, but even there's then, more races. I, I no, think, no. I think even it's but now, so Australia, think, uh, yes. South Africa, South Africa yes. is apartheid. Australian is not. But here's the deal. It's like. He was indoctrinated by the same type of police officers that I keep saying, like we're saying, we're talking about. Like, look, it's just a I story, never, dude. It's a true story. But does anybody happened. remember growing up? And everyone used to say the only people that became local cops were the guys in high school that got beat up. If I said to a white person right now, surveyed and said dog fighting, pit bulls, they'd say black people. I wouldn't even think of anything. I know you wouldn't. I know you wouldn't. I honestly, think I think. Assholes I think, killing dogs, I, dude. I think it's I nice. understand that. I'm just trying to tell you, like, I think it goes a lot deeper than you guys realize. Go ahead, Juice. What are you saying? I think, the, I think black people and pit bulls are fading out a little bit, right? Like, I think it's less because I get that, but I, I think it's like less attached. To, I, I to wasn't trying to be relevant to now. I was just telling you guys a story like, about. No, 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 it. I, I get the but story, I get the but I want to like hear. That, but like, I'm noticing social media, just like saturation. I'm not seeing as much. Of, of that right? Like, in like I'm no, not saying it's stuff. relevant to right. 2023, Juice. No, I'm. But I'm just saying it was general. a story that happened to me in 1995. <laughs> but he's still saying like it's a weird 
it's a weird story even in the 90s. Like, because, like, I'm not even talking about 2020. Listen. It doesn't seem, it's I, not I, weird I, to me. It, it, I, it, it is not, was not weird. No, it's still, not the it's still weird it. to me. Like, because I grew up around chicken fights, right? And, like, I've been to plenty of those. And, like, yeah, I guess. That would shock most people here in Portland, bro, by the way. That would, like, blow people away. They would, like, already judge you for going to that. But, it's, but he said this ahead. in 95, and, like, I go feel ahead, like Juice. people think of Michael Vick post Michael Vick. Yeah, but this right? is 95. It's before this Michael is 95, Vick. 95, right? So this is 95. This is before Michael Vick, dude. I never thought so of dog deeper, fights. There's a deeper tie, I guess. Like Part of it is, okay, part of this goes back to dog, okay, so all I'm going to say is this. But, so, I, so but can I just say what? I'm going to say I don't want to be a dog. I don't want to be that guy. But you just proved the point. Cops are dicks. That was a move. That was a Hey, dude. Like, he didn't know you from Adam, really. Guys, other than you spent a couple I just hours. Wanted, I wanted to extrapolate just off of your... On the camouflage, you're totally right. But just for a split second, think about something different. But he didn't know you from Adam. He was being a dude without even knowing you. That's not true. That's not true. Okay. Be- so how did he believe in you? I was white-skinned. Every other conversation that we had had was, like, on par, football, all the other shit, right? Okay? If I would have been wearing a... And Steelers shirt, the racism would have come out sooner. I guarantee dude, it. There's, dude. A lo- there's a lot if of Steelers. I would have kids. He, he would have felt more comfortable. If he saw no suspects, that's just his like. I'm just saying, like, big old when you. Okay, let me ask but, you this. Okay, the, the, the topic is why are cops. Let me ask dick. you this. So tell, if you no, own a goddamn. Mark, Mark no. just tell me, why was he being. I'm trying to give you an example. No, I'm I just want to know why, though. I'm trying to give you an example. No, I don't want the example. I want the I want the definition. Okay. Why did he feel like it was okay I to be a dick? I think when you deal in the deluge every day and that's all you see, and then all of a sudden because you're in a shitty place in America where, like, the high percentage of deluge... There's, there's no... Black people here. It's saturation. Of like okay, okay. Am I wrong? Okay. It's so little. So yes. So then, see when you, so then when you see at all. Yes. Ever. So then like, when you do see, yeah. when you do see the subsidized housing for the blacks and where they where where, where Portland decides to put uh, black uh, and brown and, and and dark community colored people and what the, the resources they but give. But then them. the other half is white because there's not enough black people here to fill up those places. Dude, <laughs> I'm just maybe trying was, to. Maybe it was the time and like. Kind of like I'm just trying to tell you, dude, like this is before this is when MLK was not MLK. It was Union Avenue. All I'm trying to say is that there was a different, completely different view. There's still there's still God damn it. Akil, there still kind of is. But I'm just saying, why are cops? Dicks? They see the same shit perpetrated by the same people that they patrol every day and they all of a sudden because they're humans they start thinking that that's what those people's sum is but he doesn't even have that many like it's Donald like a sample Dixon. size it is the smallest sample size you could possibly think of some cops that's because dicks. you're super smart and you're educated some car- cops aren't dicks. No, some cops are not dicks. some are some aren't but why are cops dicks? because they they want to be. I think you're giving a like too much power to people who don't I, I, have the I, I'm not credentials to have it. They find a way to be rude. They find not you. I'm just oh. saying us. Oh, us as a society. Not, okay. They dropped the. They dropped it. Now you could. You don't have to have a college degree. You can have a GED and neck tattoos. Yeah, it doesn't cops, make any sense. We're making it easier for white supremacists to become law enforcement officials. Cops, actually, cops are not I, whatsoever for upholding the law, doing their job. You know, like. When it comes to quotas, they're dicks. Yeah. But totally, like, dude. But like, yeah, okay, I clocked you, you know, like... Pulling me over. And like our, they're quoting we, you. We could say it's just like, man, this guy's like a little short. He's trying to hit his quota, right? Like, you know, he's... He's so dick. have to pull me over and like, whatever, whatever. But he really needed to write that ticket, right? Because, but he's still a dick. But he could <laughs> but, but, yeah, like, technically you were speeding. Was I? If you were speeding... I have not been mistreated as much by cops as you guys have been. Hold on, because, yes, you can get pulled over. It was like, do you know why I pulled you over, sir? No, I don't know why. Well, this is why. I'm like, ah, no, no, I don't... No, I think you're wrong, but, but but maybe, you know... But who cares, right? Like, that's when they become a... Because... Maybe it's happened to me. I don't know about you, but like, 
I pulled you over for this reason. That that didn't happen at all. <laughs> yeah, How many times? Right. Like, you're like, that, you rolled through the like, stop sign. Be like, there's well, no stop sign back there, sir. Like that's yeah, a, you rolled through it. That is but a, there isn't a stop that's sign. That's the tallest tale I ever <laughs> heard. <man. laughs> so why did you really pull me? <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> Because you. for me, it's just like I have to remind myself sometimes. But uh, oh, you okay? What now? What do you want? <laughs> yeah, like do you just want to, money? Just to see what you do. Okay, all right, go away. Yeah, yeah. You, bro. Oh, but like that's the thing. I just want to see what you're doing, and that's a head move. It's like, hmm. Why are you doing? Yeah, like what? Oh, well, you look like you were having fun over here, so I just came to see what you're doing. I it's know. Like, and it happens. Well, hold on, hold on. That's but I'm having fun. I'm not violating the law. I didn't break any constitutional amendment. Like, why all of a sudden are you like, I just want to see what you're doing. Dude, like, it's yo, all stop being a fucking Chad or a Karen. Nah, dude, it's watch. not just that. You're like giving him too much credit. What do you you're mean, not giving him enough they credit. They literally came over you're not and giving, started fucking You're not with giving me. enough credit to the racists at I all. I don't care about racism right here. I you care about be. No, because I don't think everything's racist. Well, but Dude. actually, that is my thing. Hey, make Come sure you on, go bro. online to G Media and get its racist shirt presented by Kill Patterson. And when you do, five percent goes back to charity. Guys, either way, I gotta wrap there's all no right. reason so why you're handled any differently than I am, and the only reason why is because of the color of your skin. So that it's like law enforcement is inherently. Flawed. Well, Juice, you get the last word on this one. Do you think cops are dicks? No, I don't. Not no. overall. No, I'm not going to say that. All right. They're inherently flawed. Ah, good Lord. All right. Inherently flawed? Well, folks. <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't get to, just because, wait a minute. I know it's your show, no, but like. We, because listen. I'd be a, I, would, I would be a dick to say all cops are dicks, right? Like, judge for yourself. Are cops dicks? No, because if I said cops are dicks, that means every single cop's a dick. Okay. And I can't. I am not gonna. I'm not gonna f- lay that down and be like, yeah, f- you, bro. Do you any? Do you know any cops that are his friends? Yeah, man. I yeah, have I'm cops not. that are friends. My, they're my also high school quarterback, but they're my. D- and you know what? You know every every group has a. D- every group has an asshole. But every now, like there, d- you you have one but, in your group. But if but yeah, that's your f- in your f- asshole. Right. But fuck them. It's like fish. Bram. Yeah. It's like Bram. Exactly. So listen, folks. Bottom line: Ask yourself next time. Is this cop being a dick? And if so, let them know. Especially if you have friends who are cops. Hey, shout out to all my homies that are cops. Because we love you, but you're our dicks. Yeah. And don't you put <laughs> your dick in my assholes. All right. Thanks again for joining us here on SFD, the Sunday Fun Day Show. My name's been Akil Patterson. That's been Mark Togney. And that's been Juice. Have a great day and an even better tomorrow. Because it's Monday.